Hello, hello everyone. This is Lightstar and we are back. I am coming in hot today and that is white hot, violet hot actually. And we're gonna be working with the violet flame energies to assist you guys in clearing some frequencies out, some old stuff. So you're definitely not gonna to wanna to miss this one. So please don't skip it because this one is really, really powerful and gonna help you guys to clearing. Those of you guys that wanna do some clearing, with the violet flame, this video is for you. So without further ado, let's get to this powerful activation, the light language activation that's gonna assist you, the image that is going to assist you that I have, my creation, and all the frequencies that we're gonna be working with today to help you clear and cleanse with the violet flame. Let's go. Greetings everyone, this is Lightstar and welcome back to the channel. I am thrilled you guys are back here again. And for those of you who are here for the first time, a big warm welcome to my channel. And we've got a lot of great stuff on the channel here. As many of you guys know, I like to do some different things on here as well. And that's one um, we're gonna do today, which is a special violet flame activation or clearing, if you will. I hope you guys are enjoying this content. And if you are, or if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. And YouTube likes to call it subscribe. I like to call it joining the tribe or joining the community. I think that sounds much better and more inviting. And if you are down there clicking around, make sure you hit that like button on the video and give it a thumbs up and also share the content out to people that you know would be interested in this type of material and content. And make sure you comment and engage. I love to engage and interact with you guys in the comments section. And make sure that you click the notifications bell so that you won't miss a thing when new videos come out. And I am looking forward to bringing more content as always, and I'd love to have you guys join the community. And for those of you that would like to catch me on other platforms and other channels, I am also on BitChute and Brighteon, Rumble and Odyssey. And you can check all those links of where I'm at down below in the description area. The content on those channels generally gets posted a day or so after the post goes up on YouTube. So just have a little patience as to when that becomes available on the other platforms. I wanted to talk about the violet flame. So many people work with this uh, color frequency and this energy. And so I wanted to talk about it a little bit and also do a little activation for you guys to assist. And I'm gonna talk about this uh, in relation to one of my own art images and art creations that is called Violet Flame. And so I'm gonna put that up on screen so you guys can see it while I'm talking about it. This is one of my images that is, uh, a, it's actually it was born from a custom image that I did for my beautiful client, Catherine. And Catherine, thank you, thank you so much, as I always like to thank my uh, beautiful clients and for the inspiration for uh, bringing this forth. And so it started out as a custom and then ended up being uh, a, one of my images that works for the world, for all of you guys too. So thank you, Catherine, for that. And also um, just again, working with this violet flame energy, which I wanna talk about, um, which really, I guess the violet flame can mean different things to different people. But it, for me, the violet flame energy, it resonates to uh, purifying, to refinement, uh, healing, renewal it's really just kind of a, a purging of old patterns old energies old frequencies and it's also re you know really connected with bringing forth very high frequencies as well so for me it has the ability to not only just clear out the garbage and the old energies it also brings in the higher frequencies at the same time it reminds me a lot of 
Um, for those of you guys that have had session work with you with me, you know I always tell you guys to take a Himalayan crystal salt bath. That's my favorite. And uh, I like to share that one. It's very similar in properties in a way because with the Himalayan crystal salt, you get the cleansing and the purification, but you also get the higher frequencies that come in as well from all the minerals. And I always say just the, the color pink itself of the salt is extremely highly beneficial. And so the violet flame to me is very analogous in that way that it works uh, twofold. You know, it's like the double-edged sword. It really just works in multitude of ways where it cleanses and purifies, but it also brings in higher frequencies of that violet energy. So that's what it does um, in a nutshell, um, but it's very helpful for releasing out. Uh, a lot of people work with the violet flame energy or the colors of violet flame when you're trying to break karmic ties or if you're trying to have a karmic clearing with some situation or a person or something like that, or if you are also trying to uh, just cut cords, you know, how the cutting cords. I don't really like to cut the cords. I actually more, if you're going to do that, to more dissolve the cords and then fill them up with something of a higher frequency. Um, so that's a whole topic in and of itself. <laughs> but that's why I really like the, uh, the Violet Flame because it's so universal for many of us down here on the planet and who are working with cleansing and clearing energies and purging out old stuff. And, um, it just, but it also helps to accelerate your own advancement. And so working with the Violet Flame you know, is really awesome violet energies. I love that. It has um, the ability to also work with uh, your spiritual development because, you know, the, the color violet is typically associated in chakratic way, you know, for the chakra columns is going to be typically associated with maybe, the, you know, more of the third eye energies, which um, are going to also be you know, working in those frequencies here. Um, sometimes I clear with, with lavender and silver, but I also, then when you're working with the third eye, work with violet and purple colors. Um, these are our third eye colors that um, we work with. And so it actually helps us to open and to see things more clearly. And like by purifying the clouds that are around our third eye or decalcifying the third eye so that we have more of our psychic abilities and our more spiritual abilities come to the surface and to the forefront. So along with the just violet flame transmutational energies, we also have that violet flame energy that can come in and upgrade the pineal gland. And even though the pituitary and pineal gland are, or pineal gland are very close together in the, the brain, not right here, inside your head. Uh, so it actually works on those areas as well when you're working with that. And, um, you know, a lot of times people call it the holy fire, really. It's just, um, if you're thinking about a fire, you know, just the regular flames, which are more oranges, reds, and even whites and yellows and that kind of flame. But a lot of times people will substitute the violet flame, which is more of a violet and also white, I think is in there as well. Cause I always see the violet flame with white and, you know, violet, um, those kind of colors that brings in the divine frequencies, the higher divine energies that can help to purify and cleanse. So it's, um, sometimes referred to as the flame of God even. Okay. This is just, some of the, the terminology out there. Um, but there really isn't a whole lot you can't clear with the violet flame because it's so powerful. That's why so many healers use it. And it's just, it's just an overall, just amazing, awesome color, not only just color, but you know, frequency and clearing tool to utilize. Sometimes it's a little bit hard for people with don't visualize, you know, very well the color of violet or the flame. But if you feel the energy of the violet flame and what that brings, 
those of you that tune into your feeling frequency first, maybe you're more empathic and you just feel first, dial that frequency up um, if you feel it. And then some of you, it even you could even just tune into your audio, you know, portion of your extrasensory perception, turn that on, literally dial it all the way up, and you can actually hear the sound vibrational frequency of the violet flame and what that sounds like. Maybe it sounds like a fire, you know, crackling, but maybe it has some other tone or something to it. So um, those of you that, you know, flip on your, your extra uh, sensory perceptions on the audio portion can really hear it. And then some of you just kind of know, you just know, you don't necessarily have to see it or feel it or you just know it's there. Okay, there's many different ways to actually experience the violet flame energy, but to surround yourself with it and to allow your energies to, you know, merge into it. And then you literally see yourself just purified and cleansed out the other side, literally. So that's kind of why I feel it's so important. Um, we really honor the violet flame and the energies that it brings. We have other flames and we have other colors and they all mean different things, you know, depending on what you're working with. Um, but like I said, today's, we're just kind of working with this. Now in this image that I also bring forth um, is also bringing forth some of the Metatronic energies as well with this, um, with the Metatron's cube. And I'm not talking about the negative vibration of Metatron, which a lot of people out there are starting to throw that whole thing under the bus. So just saying, don't be thinking, you know, this is like, oh, it's negative because it's net Metatron. Okay, no, but I'm not gonna even go into that. But the Metatronic energies are not, yes, the negative forces have come and distorted basically every one of our uh, sacred geometry images and distorted that. And I'm not saying there's not some negative things that may sort of associate with the negative vibrational, um, you know, metatronic energies that are of the dark side, but that's not what I'm talking about. But I'm not saying there's not that, but I'm only bringing in the higher frequencies of the high level, benevolent, loving, and very potent frequencies of Metatron and the cube and the Metatron's cube. Okay. So just wanting to clarify that, but the energy of that, of the purification and this, and just came in with this image as well as the angelic frequencies as well that you can see here. So we're working with all of those, uh, those energies to clear and purify. So, so what I want to do with this activation here, um, it was very important for me to share what, violet flame energy is. Some people may not even be aware of what violet flame energy is. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of it. Um, many of you guys that watch this channel probably already use it, already know how to use it. But those of you guys that want to do a little bit of a mini uh, cleanse or purification process with the violet flame energies and my light language or, you know, that kind of thing, that's what I'm going to do. So with this activation again just put your mind off to the side close your eyes if you would like to you can keep it open if you like and just feel the energies and frequencies that are coming forth for this i'm feeling like there is um the some of the phyla energy that's coming forth with this violet flame for some reason the phyla energy wants to come in and do some of the purification and clearing. And so that's the light language we're working with today. And uh, I've done a few other videos on Phyla, but um, for the moment, this is what we're doing, the activation on, okay? So like I said, just kind of tune in, we will. And, and what I want you guys to do with this is to put something in your field, okay? In your energy field can just bring it in as just a, thought or um, bring in a situation that you would like to be cleared of through the violet flame energies and purification energies. So that could be anything in your own personal world. Okay. Just bring it in, whether you're working with a relationship issue, any kind of relationship where you have, you know, necessarily like 
unhealthy relationships where things need to be cleared or cleansed. Maybe it's communication issues that just needs to be cleared. Maybe it's a health uh, concern. Maybe it's a, a situation at work, you know, or maybe it's a career stagnation, whatever it is for you. Just put it in your field by just thinking about it because our thoughts are powerful. They just bring it right up, right? And I want you to see that situation as I'm doing this light language to be burning up in the violet flame. Like it's in the middle. You can put it out in front of you and just see it being just completely immersed into a violet and white flame and then clearing out all of the excess yuckiness, right? The garbage, the stuff that is the unhealthy portion of it. You can keep all the good stuff, but just let's get rid of some of the heavier, denser energies from that and uh, releasing ties, karmic issues, all sorts of stuff, okay? All right, so that said, let me dial my frequency into the file of frequencies. Gemzas dajdena zagales galandhe zamdari zagoja vazedeg zubagajda dalaz maradar mandag kahin zehi jodogora gazo do magajed sobaji gagwo danar nedar uzar ader Subaje, Gubaje, Gabjas, Amdar, Azdar, Yadir, Adir, Adir, Jandor, Oso, Gora. Vangir, Nad, Hal Alesta, Mag, Ajded. Zumbaji, Geza, Gaigunga, Janda, Beza, Dan, Hundesa, Gista, Handales. Sigeshenedes, Amgaja, Gulag. Gevened, Esda. Hudas da gaz de ista, Hudas da gaz da nagal, Gaz de me a gaz de ende his at han o do majagye. Zambedijag o zamagai, Zum jia zang gazund, Hens jijo da need armazago ujande, Sindi hogovaz alas amar das agejen. Said as O Ugolat as Ad Ig Eremedezag, Ved Enzo Hor Arjid Ajde. Zunda his Agales and its Ad Eleg, Baragajda, Margajdoro, Zombaragajde, Zeze Azando Jani Beazago, Caravende Hedder Magaj and Handed Esa, Hugovaj Ahad Al Esagad. Hombaj di kivi is the hat the kuruj at the gumak hag is the gogja. Ubagashnet is the magi giviendar as the garma jaga hogo. Virish de gain is the halmes de gogusta halakasht. Argev ned id marahasdag. Hamar is the gojogovad. Saka in edis hat umarhasdi. Sugi e veje gahandas a te uzd ar agenemetez. Sumaje udas sa te ge ugavned ge jendar mazda ge de idere nagas. Sugi vede eza gash anza ge etirimia kalas magaravar jandarizam. Sumereja te isto kavorak ar negriasta. Gorsto gorangu dijna. Hurivi is the honey to curit is to go cold, dear tak marvegesian. Summercas alasta, king gear tasta, halm heaven again. Dish to the egg and the res, Ugumerset is the key, a deco gajan head, alm heaveness. Take a nice deep breath in and feel that energy, feel that violet flame now completely engulfing. If it hasn't already, just purging and releasing. It can go up into the heavens. It can go down into deep into the earth where it gets transmuted. Just see that violet and white flame. 
completely surrounding that situation and releasing all of the lower frequencies, but also now feeling and sensing and knowing, seeing or hearing the new frequencies coming in to lighten up that whole situation in your life. So see the energies coming in, the lighter frequencies, the divine energies coming in, overlaying on top of these situations in your life. See all of the energy frequencies coming down, pervading every single area of that situation in your life bringing in higher codes, higher light, higher love, higher transmutations, higher codes of light, and see that just completely just saturating into your own life so that that whole situation gets a new perspective, a higher vantage point. And breathe that in, breathe the new codes in and just relax into that new frequency and thanking that beautiful violet flame for helping you today, for working with that energy and any of the frequencies, all the violet energies that were coming in and um, so that is what I want to share with you guys today. And hopefully that was helpful for you just to clear and cleanse all that stuff out. And uh, don't ask me why it was the phyla energy today, but that's just what was coming forth. And sometimes it's a different energy, but that was what was coming forth. I would have thought that maybe it was angelic codes, but actually that's not what was coming forth. <laughs> so I just left that open to uh, whatever wanted to come through. And this was more of the clearing energy of this, but also, again, bringing some of the lighter, higher energies on top. It's like the icing on the cake, right? And so, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that little activation. Um, if you would like to work with me privately, you can know where to find me on my website at lightstarcreations.com, where I have all of my session work for you, my starseed alignment sessions, my oracle readings, my healing shield attunement sessions, and much more with the private work that I'm doing. And also you can get my oracle cards, my magical dimensions and my um, celestial frequencies oracle cards. You can also get my frequency wear over there where you can wear this beautiful energy of my artwork. And you can get my artwork in different formats um, that are really highly attuned to different frequencies and different codes that work with you. It's not just seeing them up on screen, you guys. Like you need to have these energies in your hands tangibly as well with really getting the codes uh, downloaded. So either from my photo prints or from the Gator Foam mount prints or the metal prints, somehow, some way, getting it into your home, getting them into your hands. Um, I have some new art that I've been talking about lately for a while now, but it's relatively new within the last few months. And that is my seasons, my four seasons that are, um, I feel like my best work, but just saying. And then um, also having my uh, new the counterpart, the male uh, frequency coming in for the divine masculine, which the other energies coming in there, um, which depending on when that's out, I don't know if they're coming, you know, I'm working on them. And if I'm filming this at a time where it's already done, then it's already done. So go check it out and see if it's there on my website. And so much more I have available for you guys. Music, all my music activation is highly, highly activational. So I highly recommend that you go check out all of my stuff and uh, get something for yourself, right? This is uh, getting into the season or around here where you're starting to think about gifts for people. So for whatever reason, um, it's the time, right? Whenever it is for whatever the season is, but um, it's always gift season, right? Like not just around the holidays, it's always gift season. It's always nice to get a gift. So my, I have so many perfect gifts for people. So anywho, 
that is what I come in to share with today for the violet flame energies. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And as usual, I will be back for more content as always on the channel. So be sure and uh, come on board and just stay with us here because there's more coming and I love you guys. So bringing forth uh, higher frequencies in from the galactics, the angelics, the elementals and your higher selves and all of your higher spiritual guides and angels and everybody working with you, your spiritual uh, family and your team work with them. Also, don't forget about the bringing in their energies, most particularly your higher self, uh, because all the rest of it filters through your higher self. So work with your higher self and I obviously can help you with that. If you need some assistance, I have some great tools for that as well. So, uh, thanks for uh, watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and week ahead. And whenever this comes out, uh, weekend or whatever it is for you guys. And I will be talking with you soon. So stay tuned. Bye for now. If you'd like to support my journey and helping to bring more content to YouTube and provide all this activation and goodness for you guys, please consider providing a donation to my work and you can do that in many different ways. If you head on over to my website at lightstarcreations.com, you'll also see a donation page on there where it has many different forms for you to provide your donation. I have a vibrational giving a certain specified dollar amount that is aligned with a certain frequency and you can give that way or you can become a patron on Patreon or you can actually just donate whatever that feels in resonance with you. And there's also super thanks on YouTube. And that is the little heart button that is next to the like button below the video. And you can also donate that way. And something that I do for anyone who donates to my work, I send a remote light language blissing of love and abundance and support right back to you. It's my way of saying thank you for your donation. And I so appreciate all of you who have donated and all my patrons. I love you guys. And thank you so much for your continued love and support. And another way to support me is to just head on over to my website and make a purchase of one of my awesome products and services that I have to help you to activate and to enlighten you and to bring more light and love into your life. So head on over there and check out all the different things I have, many different types of products and services for you. And once again, I extend my love and gratitude and appreciation to all of you who have extended your support to me in the past. I love you guys and I thank you for everything.